have with the media, in my experience, I've been with him uh, a little more than nine years, uh, involve a degree of trust that is established by the different uh, people in the media I deal with. I don't trust some of them at all. <laughs> Very few of them I respect, and I have to be uh, leery. I, I let them go as far as, as, uh, I, as they establish that trust, and if they betray it, um, I don't uh, cooperate with them uh, as I did right off the bat. So there, there is a struggle with the media to, to uh, inform the public the true story, and we have to counteract, counter some of, uh, some of what is printed and what is, what is uh, on, uh, on the television or on radio. I'll, I'll lay a foundation that I work for a man who has uh, done and said uh, things over the years that have been ill-advised or wrong, and, and he has apologized in some instances uh, he is, is an outspoken individual. <laughs> He's a conservative. Uh, we often have talked about uh, uh, why he has problems with the media, and, and I have outlined them to him. And I said, all right, let's go over this again, Bill. <laughs> you're pro-military. You're pro-life. You're pro-business. Um, you are a conservationist, not an environmentalist. Hmm. You, um, you are wealthy. You do not need this job. Uh, <laughs> You say what is on your mind, and you are overweight. <laughs> and so I let that sit in, and he says, I need to lose weight. I know. And I said, Bill, that's the only thing. <laughs> so there, there, is a, there is a constant battle that we have uh, to find the, the truth or to, inf to inform the public. And I can get into some of that later as far as some of the techniques that we have to use to get what we believe is the true story uh, across. I have, I, I have uh, uh, respect for maybe uh, two to three newspaper reporters in this city, maybe six or seven uh, television journalists, three radio people, no editors, and uh, <laughs> that is just the fact that, that we, in Anyone? fact, have to deal with. And but I, that's I, almost I, everybody. I mean, <laughs> I brought, I, and I brought some examples uh, uh, of, of just some of what, what we have dealt with, and J.W., you're at the top of the list on one of them. Oh, oh. The good list or bad? Okay. <laughs> so we have a cliffhanger already. Ah. Yeah, good. Sorry. One more. Maria has some response. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, um, uh, I was counting the years that I've been on the other side of the fence now, and it's about 10 years. And that was straight from Channel 8 going to the city attorney's office <coughs> under the first city attorney that I worked with, and that was Casey Gwynn. Just to give you an example, I mean, what Kim has to say about, boy, there was a struggle at the very beginning, there is, because I think that you're always a news person. I mean, I think you bring that to the job, and I think that is so valuable. But what was really interesting at the very beginning when I started working in the city attorney's office, <coughs> I got a call from a Union Tribune reporter, and I remember it was J. Harry Jones, and if anybody knows J. Harry Jones, oh my God, you know, we've never met him or anything like that. He just has this booming voice. And uh, he uh, said to me that uh, he, had a, uh, uh, he had a police report. He's not supposed to have a police report, number one, when there is a matter under investigation and it is going to go to, and it is in court. And he told me that he had this uh, report and he, um, and I didn't even know about this police report, and it involved a judge <coughs> anyway. Um, gave me all this information over the phone, and I was just flabbergasted at all that information. And part of me was saying, boy, this is really great. But then the other part of me was like, oh my God, you know, uh, I now have to really behave like the public information officer um, working for the city attorney's office. And so I think because I was so flabbergasted, the only thing I was able to say to him was, and how may I help you? Because, you know, I didn't confirm anything. <laughs> you know, they're always trying to get you on the phone to confirm things. Anyway, I'll never forget that day. And so um, I think in terms of is it a struggle and where are you? Are you the publicist or are you, the, uh, you know, more like the news editor? I think you're right down in the middle. And I think that uh, it's just so valuable when, that if you've been in the news uh, business, whether it's radio, TV, or newspaper, I think you bring a wealth of information to an organization because you wind up thinking like a reporter. 
Um, and uh, like John, I have my favorites in terms of people that I communicate on a regular basis with. And uh, I, uh, being on the other side, um, sometimes it will be very difficult uh, to confirm information, um, but it's always good to provide background information. And you hope that the, inf the person uses that background information and, and uses it in, in that respect. So there's a fine line there in terms of maybe assisting a reporter and not going too far where you might hurt your organization. So there is a fine line there, but uh, I, I see that you know, if you're right in the middle and if you have a news background, I think an organization is just, you know, um, I think it's, it's, um, it, it, it's valuable for an organization to have people in the community.